Hello, my name is Willie Farrell and I'm a senior software engineer in the IBM Developer Skills team. This demo is the third in a nine-part series that supplements the Developer Works Live Briefing Architecture, Design, and Construction using the IBM Rational Software Delivery Platform. In this series, you will see the demos that are performed as part of the live presentation of that briefing. In this demo, you will see the model fuse capabilities of the Rational Architecture tools that allow you to fuse or combine the elements of two models. In the demo, I use Rational Software Architect, but all of the features you see in this demo are also in Rational Software Modeler and Rational Systems Developer. We're going to combine the model we created in the previous demo with a model contained in the files imported in the first demo. Let's take a look at that imported model. Expand the My Project 2 folder and expand the Models folder. Right click the My Model 2 model file and select Open Model. Expand the sample package and double click the main diagram to open it. As you can see, My Model 2 has a class with the same name as one of the classes created in the last demo. It is also in the same package. But this class has a different attribute and a different operation than were in the class created before. We can use the model fuse capabilities to combine the contents of my model created in the last demo with my model 2. First, we need to select the models to combine. In the Project Explorer, select my model. Then use Control click to also select my model 2. With both models selected, right click my model 2 and select Combine Models. This dialog allows us to choose which model will contain the final model once the model fuse is complete. We will combine everything into My Model 2. Since we have a class in each model with the same fully qualified name and different members, we know that manual resolution will be required, so we won't bother to check the box to attempt to combine the models automatically. Click OK. The Pending Changes view lists all of the changes that can be made to the target model in order to combine it with the source. The source and target views show these changes visually, with links between the source and target to show where the effects of a particular change will be located. We can use the arrow buttons in the upper right of the Pending Changes view to navigate through the changes and decide which to accept and which not to accept. Click the first unmarked change button. The Model View checkbox is highlighted. If we check this box, the target model will be changed to look exactly like the source model. That's not what we want. We want a combined target model that keeps everything from the original target and adds all of the model elements from the source model. So we'll continue to step through the changes and only accept those that give us the combined model we're looking for. Click the Next Change button. Checking the changes related to My Model 2 checkbox would give the same results as checking the Model View checkbox, so we'll skip it. Click the Next Change button. Notice the link between the name property of the two models shown between the source and target views. Again, our intent here is to combine all of the elements of My Model that don't exist in My Model 2 into My Model 2. We don't want to turn My Model 2 into an exact copy of My Model, so we'll keep the name the same. Click the Next Change button. This change would make the sample package in My Model 2 identical to the sample package in My Model. Again, that's not what we want, so we'll skip it. Click the Next Change button. Now we're getting into the changes we want to make. This change would add the My Attribute attribute to My class in My Model 2. We want to do that, so we'll check the box. Click the Next Change button. This change will add the attribute which is implied by the directed association from my class to my associated class 1. Accept this change. Click the Next Change button. This change adds the attribute implied by the direct association from my class to my associated class 2. Accept this change. Click the Next Change button. This change adds the my operation operation to the target. Accept this change. Click the Next Change button. This change and the next three are already selected because we accepted the addition of the two attributes. By accepting the attributes, we implicitly accepted the associations and the classes to which the associations are directed. We can skip over these four changes by clicking the Next Change button four times.
The two delete changes would remove the attribute and operation defined in the original target model. We want to keep that attribute and that operation, so we won't accept these changes. Now that we've selected all the changes we want, we can finish by clicking OK. We can see here that the attribute and operation from my class and my model have been added to my class and my model too. Let's look at the other changes. Expand the sample package. Select My Associated Class 1 and use Control Click to also select My Associated Class 2. Now drag the classes onto the diagram. Double click the diagram tab to expand it. Right click anywhere in the diagram and select Arrange All. Here is the new model, combining the elements of the source with the target. Double click the diagram tab to return it to its normal size. Now we'll save everything. On the main menu, select File, Save All. This completes the Model Fuse demo. In this demo, you saw the Model Fuse or Combine capabilities of the Rational Architecture tools which allow you to combine the model elements of two different models.